good morning good afternoon good evening as the case may be for me it's good morning i'm on the way from las vegas to hoover Dam, and i took an opportunity to see another attraction very very close by what is it it's mike o'callaghan pat tillman memorial bridge it was built relatively recently maybe 15 years ago or so and it was actually thought about or planned since 1960s the reason well previously all the traffic went over the river dam and for security and other reasons that was not something that could go on so finally they built this bridge and it became a huge magnet for tourists visiting Hoover Dam. I would say almost everyone who comes to the dam visits the bridge. It is a little bit steep climb, but you are rewarded with beautiful views of the dam and Colorado River. And it definitely is worth it. It is very, very windy up there, but if you make it there, you will not regret it. The bridge costs about quarter million dollars, actually, I should say, the whole project. The bridge itself cost half of this amount, and the rest of it was the road and the preparations that they had to do on both sides of the gorge to prepare construction of the bridge and they named it after Michael Callahan who was as I read a governor of Nevada and a veteran of Korean War and Pat Tillman which was something entirely different. Pat Tillman was an NFL football player and he gave up his career and volunteer for the army to fight in Afghanistan and unfortunately he was killed and what's ironic is he was killed by a friendly fire. The bridge is approximately 1500 feet almost half kilometer downstream of Hoover Dam. The bridge was the first concrete steel composite arch bridge built in the United States and it incorporates the widest concrete arch in the Western Hemisphere. At almost 900 feet, 270 meters above the Colorado River, it is the second highest bridge in the United States after the Royal Gorge Bridge near Canyon City, Colorado, and is the world's highest concrete arch bridge. And I can tell you from my own experience, it's very, very windy on the bridge. Actually, they had a problem with wind when they were building the bridge. The wind gusting across the Black Canyon, which is where the bridge is, in 2006 appear to have been the cause for the collapse of high line crane system that was used to carry people and materials at the bridge site. No one died because of this accident, but limited construction work resumed in October 2006, but overall this accident caused a two year delay in construction. And uh, Actually, only one person died during the whole process of constructing the bridge, which is kind of a pretty good safety record, I would say. And uh, while talking about when we are on the topic of uh, dying, uh, the first known suicide at the bridge took place in 2012. And, uh, Officials were unable to convince the victim not to jump from the pedestrian walkway 
overlooking the dam. Others have happened since, but um, there is no way to prevent someone if the person wants to jump. The bridge appeared also in a Hollywood movie. I think the name was Andreas Falk uh, or something like that, or San Andreas. It was a disaster movie. I think mildly successful. I don't even remember if I saw it or not, but in the movie the bridge was destroyed in a massive earthquake along with the Hoover Dam. So this is all I know about the bridge and let's move on to Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam is a concrete arch gravity dam in the Black Canyon of the Colorado River on the border between Nevada and Arizona. Actually I believe the border runs through the middle of the river and it was constructed between 1931 and 1936 during the Great Depression and was dedicated on September 30, 1935 by President Roosevelt. And its construction was the result of a massive effort involving thousands of workers and cost over 100 lives. Originally it was known as Boulder Dam and it was officially renamed Hoover Dam for President Hoover in 1947. Here we are at the Nevada side of the dam at the visitor center. People taking pictures, walking around and admiring the statue, reading some information and so on and so on. There are in normal times uh, tours of the dam but for security reasons you have to buy the tickets on site but now due to pandemic uh, no tours the construction of the dam as usually when people build something huge in nature screwed up the ecosystem to a large degree because there were natural floods and look how windy it is there were natural floods and the uh, dam basically prevented that and the plants and animals and fish were adopted to adapted to uh, those conditions but now since there is no flooding i think four species of fish are listed as endangered or threatened and we are on arizona side Arizona time, which half the year I believe is the same as the Pacific, which is uh, Nevada time. And what about Hoover Dam in the movies, books, video games, TV? Yes, all of the above. I do remember in Vegas Vacation from National Lampoon's uh, series, Chevy Chase as Clark Griswold and his family take a tour of the dam and Clark accidentally causes an accident and has to climb the wall. And the dam was also used as a filming location for the movie The Fugitive starring Harrison Ford and Tammy Lee Jones, which was an excellent movie. And if you are cold, oh, I mean, if you are hot, you can go down here. And if it's not enough on the right, you can buy a cold drink. Proudly displays the American flag and the banner of the Department of the Interior. At the top of the flagpole, right, 142 feet above the sculpture, you see the golden ball. The ball points to where the center of our sun was on September 30th, 1930. I'll try to hide the fucking thing. Okay. Oh, <laughs> On the terrazzo floor you are standing on, yeah. embedded are 209 metal discs. <laughs> Each disc is scaled to the exact <laughs> diameter for the relative apparent magnitude of all of the stars visible with the naked eye from this exact location 
at 8.56 p.m. on the dedication date. Here, give me the camera. I'll take your picture. You give me oh, yeah. We're going to get gas money back today. So this is it from Hoover Dam. I hope you enjoyed the tour and see you next time.